All right, we're going, yeah? Hi, I'm Vince with V's for Vino, and welcome to another session of Vino Blind. Sounds like 1962 Lafitte. This is the series where we do blind tasting together, and not because I want to be some rock star taster. I mean, that's the goal, but you don't necessarily have to get the answers right here. What we're trying to do is become better at picking out flavors and learning so that the next time you taste things, you can just get more enjoyment from the wine. And so all we do is we go through the grid, I'll give you all my observations, and then you can try and guess at home what you think the wine is, and then we'll do the reveal. Today, obviously we're doing red. I'm ready to dive into this guy. The great choices are our quartermaster's advanced level options. That's what we're going with. And I've got my notes here, just so I can make sure I don't skip any steps for you at home. All right, so on the site, this to me is pretty telling. So you always wanna hold against a white paper. All right, so this is a lighter wine. I can see the writing on the paper right through the wine. From a color perspective, this is basically a, a red with hints of garnet. And you're seeing some rim variation from the center to the edge. You're seeing some color change. That tells us a lot of things. The clear tells us it's probably a cool climate wine. It'll definitely kind of be on the cool climate spectrum for sure, and less extracted, probably red fruit lands. And the color change and some of those brown hues and the rim variation all tell me that this might be an older wine. This might be a wine that has seen some oxygen, so either some age in the barrel or some age in the bottle or both. That's just what I'm gathering from the site right away. As I always mentioned, the first smell is really important in my opinion. The first smell is like your gut instinct smell of what you pick out before you start overthinking everything. So, here we go. Red wines are tougher for me than white wines, if I'm being honest. It's pretty intense. I'd say medium plus. It smells strong. It smells rustic. I know that's not a technical wine term, but I get a lot of rustic character from this. And there is a country that gives me these rustic wines pretty often. Uh, we'll get there. Is it young or old? I already told you, I think it's kind of got, it's either old or it's got oak aging on it, one of the two. I don't get fruit a ton. I mean, obviously there's fruit character and it's red fruit or it's dark red fruit, uh, in my opinion, but this is earthy, man. This is earthy. S soil slash smokes. Fruit's coming through a little bit as it opens up. Raspberries, cherries, maybe some like black cherry. All right, to sum up, medium plus intensity. I think this is kind of old wine, or at the very least it's seen some oak for some oxygen. Fruit color is pretty red, at least on the nose. Fruit character, like maybe a little, like it's fresh. Fresh, I would just say fresh, right? Floral notes, yes, kind of rosy. And then good earth character, kind of dirt, potting soil thing going. Not a ton of spice, but that might change when I get on the palate. Let's dive in on the palate. Hmm, wow, pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. I don't think that's necessarily gonna change what I thought it was. You know, so pepper is a thing we associate with Syrah. I don't think this is gonna be Syrah because I don't get blue fruit. And tannin. It's my first gut impressions. Um, so let's go down the list. Any flavors, anything new? Yes, pepper, pepper, bitter, tannin. A lot of it drying my mouth out. I mean, tannin, I would say, I would say high, high tannin. Acid. Hi. It's just tart, for sure. The acidity is, that's it. It's a medium plus. Body. So where it gets a little tough. From a body perspective, this feels pretty light to me, but then the backbone from the tannin bumps it. If, if there was no tannin, this is a light body wine. But that tannin just kind of gives it that oomph. I'd say it's a medium body. Alcohol, medium, probably 14%. You finish in the complexity. I want to say medium minus on the finish. It's not the most complex wine. I'd say medium complexity, medium minus finish. Man, that tannin is just screaming at you. All right, let's go into our initial conclusion. Old world or new world? If this is new world, I will be just very, very shocked. This is an old world wine. Cool climate or ward climate? Definitely cool. I'm not really talking that much about the fruit. The acid is high. The tannin is high. I'm not getting new oak. There might be oak on this, but it is more used oak. Possible grapes. Here's where it gets tough. So let's go down the list real quick. Is it Cab Soft? No, the body in alcohol and not high enough, no black fruits. Is it Cabernet Franc? No, way too much tannin. Is it Carmenere? No, no greenness and not enough body. Is it Amarone? No way. It's not big enough body or dried character. Is it Gamay? Again, way too much tannin. Check that off. 
Is it GSM? No, not enough body, not enough complexity. Malbec, it's not New World, and they really only make Malbec in the New World, with the exception of a little bit in France, so it's not Malbec. Is it Merlot? No, not plummy enough, not plushy enough, too much tannin, two red fruits. Is it Nebbiolo? This is my initial guess. Let's come back to that. Uh, is it Pinot Noir? Way too much tannin. Is it Sangiovese? Maybe. Is it Syrah? Maybe, and we'll come back to it. Is it Tempranillo? It could be. Like, we're talking red fruit and we are talking tannin, but I don't get any American oak hallmarks, and the tannin is so high, the body's so light. Is it Zinfandel? No. Again, too light. So, we are down to three grapes. We're down to Nebbiolo, Sangiovese, and Syrah. The only thing that really made me think it might be Syrah was just that over-the-top pepper character, but that might be spice from oak, right? Maybe I'm confusing that with spice from oak, so I don't think it's Syrah. I wouldn't be totally shocked if it was Northern Syrah, but I mean, that's a lot of tannin for Northern Rhone Syrah. Also the age, like that looks like oak influence and I don't think it had this much oak. So I'm gonna say no. Plus I started off, what was my gut? My gut said right away, this is rustic. Well, who makes rustic wines? I always think of Italy. I think of Italy every time I go into, <laughs> the Italians are excited because I'm going to Italy. Uh, my crew is Italian. So yeah, I think it's a Sangiovese or a Nebbiolo. And I always get these two confused. I should have learned from my last tasting that I did. My gut said from the beginning it was Nebbiolo. Because of the wild difference in color and variation, because of the light tart fruits, because of the over the top, kick it in the face tannin structure, Sangiovese I'd expect to be riper, some, some different fruit character. My gut says this is Nebbiolo. So let's go with our grape, Nebbiolo. Do I think this is Barolo or Barbaresco? So, Barolo is known as the king. Barbaresco is known as the queen. Barolo is usually more tannin, firmer, more longevity, but also more complex. To me, I would expect more complexity and more finish and all that, but I think because the tannin is so screaming, like, honestly, if, it's, if this is Barolo, this shouldn't have been opened yet. This is a young Barolo, and that's what I think it is. Barbaresco is, is known as the softer of the two. So I, I think this is Barolo. I seem, I seem pretty sure, yeah, I do, because I'm, I'm doing this new thing where I go with my gut. If it's Sangiovese or Syrah, I won't be totally shocked. But there's just so much tannin structure. The fruit character is so red. I think that earthiness I'm getting is um, like a tar character, which is very common. I mentioned roses even before I thought it was Nebbiolo. It could be Sangiovese. Light for Sangiovese, though. I mean, Sangiovese is light, but it's, it's not like this light, typically. Uh, now you got me second-guessing myself. <laughs> I was sure. I'm still gonna go with it. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Quality or price? Uh, I don't think this is a reserve uh, or anything like that. I think this is Barolo, regular level, and I think it's gonna be a $42 bottle of wine. And then age-wise, I think by law, they can't even release it for like three years and a couple years in bottles, so five years, six years. And I think it's young. If I was better with my Barolo vintages, I could maybe hone in more specifically, but let's just say it's 2016. Final call, Nebbiolo from Barolo, 42 bucks, 2016. Ready? I, I guess. <laughs> And I was only a year off. Wow, I nailed it. You know why? Because of practice. Because the last time I got something I thought was Barolo and I messed it up and I learned. So it's a key, you gotta practice. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm very, very happy. I was one year off. Do you know how much this bottle was? 28.99. 28, so that's cheap for Barolo. This is, like Barolo should be more expensive. So hence why I was like, oh, you know, this is not the most complex wine I've ever had. Bravo to me. I'll, I'll, I'll pat myself on the back for that one. Uh, Barolo can be a giveaway when it's young because of that screaming tannin. I mean, there's no wines that really have that other than Barolo. Now, would this wine round out a bit time and be a tougher blind? Absolutely. Like Italian wines are rustic. French wines are the classic old world, but they're polished. Tried enough Italian wines to know. I, I was like, this is Italy. That was a fun one. Let's keep them coming. Thanks, we'll see you guys next time on Vino Blind. We'll do more of these. I hope you had fun. 
Hey, just a quick 15 second commercial to tell you about our Vino VIP Club. We're independently produced and we're supported by viewers like you. So if you have a moment, check it out. We do early access to all our videos for our VIP members, our YouTube videos and our full episodes. We do monthly raffles and giveaways. We do quarterly Zoom hangouts where you get to hang out with me and chat. Members only videos that are exclusive to our members and a whole bunch more. So if you have a moment, please consider supporting. You can click the link above or you can head to vsravino.com backslash VIP to sign up.